Okay, good day guys, I am back and today I'm going to show you guys how I actually create my beats and how I create my own drum patterns and transitions and fillings etc. Um, so before I do that, I'm just quickly going to show you guys how I usually um, use the beat buddy for my songs and my set list for Sunday. So as you can see this morning, um, today's the 21st. And uh, this was the songs that we did this morning. So I had my Beat Buddy all um, ready for this for this weekend. We actually I used the Beat Buddy at band practice, and then after band practice, my drummer let me know that he can be at church this morning. So I didn't have to use the Beat Buddy in church this morning, but at least at practice we we had some drums as well. So, but anyway, so what I do is I go to um, songs here, and then I create a new folder, and then it pops up there. Then you just change it to the date and then once you are there you can just import songs to it so then you can just click on the folder file import and then i save all my songs here um, on my desktop well somewhere on my computer so whenever i'm finished with a song i export the song so in case something happens with your software on your beat but you always have your songs you know on backup so let me quickly show you guys so yeah there i've got the songs that i was going to do um, now one of the parts um, that I was working on this week that you guys saw is this one over here so I'm going to show you guys now how I create I'm going to try and do it as quick as possible so um, it's quite quick you just go on edit um, and then this is my actual yeah, you can see the actual MIDI editor and I'll show you now how I change these time sequences in order to get the sound so let me quickly sh just um, show you guys what this sounds like I hope you can can hear it and um, this is now like part of the second half of the bridge. All right, so there you can sort of see, um, you know, this is how, you know, to me that sounds quite nice. It's quite a good build up. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to show you guys how I create these beats and um, and intros and transitions just the way I do it now there's probably people who've done this way longer than me I've only been working on the beat buddy for like since uh, for about six months now actually and um, yeah so let me quickly show you guys what I do so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna create a new song right here in this folder you just tap the new song and here you all ha you have these blank parts now if you just click on it it goes to all your wave sources so here I mean your MIDI sources so here you can see all the parts that I've created to all the songs, you know, that I've been uploading to the channel. You know, this was October last year. So you can see different parts. Now, if you don't want to import parts that you already made, you just right click on it and then you say create new pattern. Now, what I was going to do is um, I actually uh, seen this other song again on, um, on a Facebook group that I'm a part of. Uh, let me just quickly open this up. I don't know if you guys know this Jesus freak song. Um, so I'm going to try and redo this intro and then this beat here. Alright, so I think this is about 104 beats per minute. I googled it a bit earlier. Um, so let me just minimize this one again. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put the tempo of the song at 104 beats per minute and then I'm going to put here Jesus Freak and um, now the intro there let's actually that's the wrong button so I'm gonna right click and then create new pattern now the intro um, it's only that da -da -da, da -da -da, kick snare kick um, but that'll only count for two of these counts now what you can do is here you can change the times uh, signature you can make it a 6 8 if you have to and then you will see that it changes everything changes at the top there now sometimes these little dot and when it starts and ends these color differences is a bit tricky but over here um, you know once the easiest way to figure it out is just to you know click and um, make some 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 shots and then you hear how it sounds and if that's what you want or not so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to 4-4 four, four, and I'm gonna well this is the intro so we're only gonna keep it four bars so let's quickly now they do have, I'm going to do like an open hi-hat. Now usually my hi-hat is about between 50 and about 60 velocity. Otherwise it gets really noisy. 
and I also alternate my hi-hat shots. So I'm just going to do like a two tap in. Um, and then I've got this part where I have to go da da da. Now, they have a double snare like sound. So in order to do that, I'm going to have to split this little... If I can only get this one selected. Nope. There we go. So I'm going to split this into four little bars. And then I'm going to just add a very, like two snares next to each other. Of like, let's say 61 and about 60, 58. And then there's a kick, I think, again, right after the snare. And I'm going to make that a bit softer. If you do all your shots at the same, then it sounds very, you know, you know programmable. I don't know what the word is. It's a bit robotic, if that's the word. So I'm just going to blindly do this quickly. Um, I'm just to get that one selected. Uh, split to four. So I'm going to add this double snare again. Um, more or less the same velocity and then this kick again at about 100 more or less so now let's listen to that all right so that is more or less the the sound that you want if i go back to my to this part of the song and i listen to this it sort of sounds like that so now the all right so that is the idea now this will be more of a All right, so let's let's leave it like that. Now, what you can do, if you want to use this intro again, then um, now it gives you this automatic, you know, time and everything. So now I always say export MIDI file, and then I'm gonna rename it as Jesus Freak Intro. So now I rename it like that, but now it doesn't. Obviously, you just resaved it now on your computer. So now you click on it. And then you import this new one. All right. So now if you play it, it's got that sound already. And um, so, yes. So now I'm going to leave it like that. So now we need to start working on the actual beat. Now let's actually select the, the rock kit for this one. I think it'll sound better. There we go. All right. So now that first, let's get to creating the actual beat. Um, now, I don't know if you guys noticed, if you download some of my songs, I prefer to work on at least like four bars. Sometimes I'd go to eight bars. If I if I have like a specific role that I don't want, um, I've, got like, I've got like a nice role at the end of the part that I want to be heard, but I don't want it to be every second bar. So then I write it in four bars. Now that takes more time obviously, but it does give you a bit more variety. So now let me show you. I usually start with my hi-hats. Now this one, I'm sort of got an open hi-hat sound to it. So I'm gonna, what I do is I left click and hold in. Um, and then you decide your velocity. So I'm going to say 55. And now I'm just going to make every second hi-hat shot. I just click once. And then it automatically takes that velocity. So it sort of makes it, uh, you know, everyone that you, if you don't move your mouse and you just click on it, it'll stay the same one all the time. So this is what I do with most of my, if I have to create these long beats. I decide at beforehand uh, how many I want at 55, which ones I want at 45 perhaps. And then I just add all my eight, well, my four bars in there. So now I have to put in the second one. So I think this one I'm going to do it like 40 velocity. So now you can just pull it down. And then when you hold in again now, 40. And now if you click on all of them, it should be 40 if you don't move your mouse. Now, if you don't know, you can just listen to it every now and then. Now you will hear that if you make it all the same velocity, it sounds a bit, you can even make this one like 45 and it'll sound a little bit better not that it's not so so sharp so i think i'm going to do that it sounds a bit better so i'm going to make this one 40 and then i'm going to make this one 45 and then i'm going to make this one 40. it just gives you a little bit of a it makes it more sound sound more natural um so you are now this takes some time as you can see but if you take the time to do it once and you save this beat you always have it handy in the future so I must just remember to save it again 45 40 now this breaks my my method of actually making this 
just keeping the, the same the button the same and pressing on it all the time but I think it will be worth it in the end so now you will hear it's got that one two three four one two three four one two it sounds a little bit generic but that's why I don't make it too loud too loud that might also even be a bit too loud so now the kick drum the first one I always make max and then my second and third ones I sort of um, those ones in between the, the the major what's it called four time signatures I sort of keep it a little bit um, softer so now let's just add the, the basic snares first um, it'll also help with the count of it um, so I, usually I make my snares between like 70 and 100 depends on which part of the song if you need it very strong and if you make a praise song like it needs to be strong the whole time then you might as well just keep it like 80 or 85 um, so let's actually quickly do the the kicks for all the single kicks I will add them later on again so I'm just gonna jump to to this part and I'm gonna make you'll see they match up with the 55 that's louder and I'm just gonna add that first snare so you will see there it is and let's also make it about 74 there we go so it's not that it doesn't take that long to actually get the once you know sort of what you want so I'll show you now so now if I just press play so we're gonna try and create that same beat so now here we can add like a little bit of a roll thing at the end and it won't sound too overpowering um, obviously we need a crash now my crashes I sometimes do between 50 and 80 I think let's listen that one might be a not so sure usually in the beginning I put quite a strong one all right so now let's add the offbeat snares now I know from my history of playing the drums one two three four one so between four um, I'm gonna make this these snares a little bit softer and then there's another snare of about 75 so this is this this is now if I put a kick in here you will hear it's it's more or less so there's definitely a kick in front of that snare if I listen to the original here now um, I'm gonna add a kick in here at about a hundred and let's see if that sounds no, that's the wrong place it must be just before the snare on four I think on count number four I'm not so sure if the second shot is there. Let's listen again. I think I'm going to add it for now. It sounds a bit better to me. All right, so there we go. We sort of have... So that'll be like the... That's more or less the pattern if you want to get a very close repli uh, replica of that Jesus Freak beat. So now I'm just going to re repeat this. I'm sort of going to do this, this pattern. So I'm going to add the 92 in the third block of the third note all the time so let's go over here and I'm gonna the third block third note so I'm just gonna make it more or less 90 just to keep it you don't want it exactly the same but you do sort of want um, in the same vicinity just so that you can always hear the beat this you know throughout the whole song so now let's do these other offbeat shots so now let's make this one again at about 60 or something and then this one just below it um, oh yeah and then I need this snare shot as well at 75 now they do play like a double kick so I'm gonna add the double kick as well now usually my f when you do play drums yourself your kicks aren't the same intensity so I usually make the first one loud and the second one a little bit softer um, so now it'll be one kick double kick one kick and then here will be another double kick uh, let's go back to about 100 and now we will be okay so let's add these shots again 
about 65 or something and then 59 and then this one must also be 74 or 75 so this is a bit time consuming but like I say once you save it and you can use it again you know it's definitely worth taking the time to make it um, so we're gonna see how the whole thing sounds now and then we'll add some on the second singular bass I usually add like a, a different sound to a different symbol so let's add like a so let's listen to it from beginning now So now right at the end, I can add a little bit some uh, something different just to make it, this one is a bit soft, so I'm gonna make it a little bit louder. And now let's add like a, like a little half a roll right at the end here. So, so I'm gonna make a little, I'll show you guys how to do an offbeat kick as well. So I'm gonna take this one away, and I'm just gonna do like, da 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 da. So I don't like the sound of Tom 1, it's a little bit, I'm just gonna make Tom three, just like a little bit of a, a down. So let's listen to the whole thing now. There we go. So that's sort of that's sort of a nice loop. So without doing anything too fancy, that is, um, if we say apply now, it still gives me this new name. So now I'm just gonna say export MIDI file. And I'm gonna say Jesus Freak uh, Part One. I don't sure if this is a a chorus or a verse or whatever. So let's just save it like that. And now you click on it again and you import it just to keep the name there. All right. So now if we go listen to the whole thing. So there I've got kind of a nice loop, you know. So there's quite a nice loop. Now what I usually do to make a transition, um, I would take the same volume and intensity of this beat and I would edit it to make it a, a transition just so that it sounds the same. So I'll copy and I'll paste it in there. And now I'm going to export it first and rename it Jesus Freak Part 1 Transition. And now I'm going to click on that. I'm going to import the transition. So now if I edit it now, it won't change that one, even though they've got the same name. Uh, this one says transition now, and this one doesn't, but they are the same. So now I'm going to edit this. Now the transition, I don't want to be four bars. So unfortunately now, you have to go delete all these ones. And the reason why I'm doing this is now you can choose how long your transition has to be. Because sometimes... Um, you want to have you don't want like a double bar transition so you don't want it to be too long and that is one thing that i found right in the beginning when i started using the the standard beats of the beat buddy and all the transitions and fillings um i noticed that most of the rolls are a bit too long and overpowering i just need like a little small transition at the end for our worship and you know praise and stuff so now the reason why i'm I'm doing this this way let me just show you so I'm gonna delete these last two bars now completely so I'm just gonna go minimize here um, I'm gonna eventually get it down to one bar but the reason why I don't delete all the blocks is because I want to keep the same structure to the to the transition that I had in the beat so I am gonna eventually only have one bar and then I'll show you guys what I do so now here you can see now I only have one bar, so now I delete this one as well. And now um, I'm going to make this second half of it a nice roll. So let's just quickly play this part. Um, so let's make. I'm going to put a little offbeat kick in here. I'm going to show you guys how I do that. Um, so let's take this one and I'm going to split it to two. And I'm just going to put like a. I think it's I think it's on this one it's well we'll hear how it sounds and that one is too too late so 
let's put it on this side. So even if it's on this side, I don't even have to split it. I think. Let's try and merge it again. Yeah, that one is actually fine. I don't need to split it. That was unnecessary. If you want like offbeat, like a very fast double shot on one shot, then you split them like on my previous song. So let's quickly see what we can do with this one to make it a, sound like a roll. So I'm going to go... Um, uh, yo, now I must quickly think. But, uh, so I'm going to take this one. I'm going to just clear these ones just so I can sort of get my mind around it. But now at least I have the first part um, that's the same velocity as I've been. Da -da. So now I'm going to go, I'm going to add these snare shots. Da -da. Actually, uh, this is one role that I use. I should have probably thought what I want to do before I started this right. That would have been a good idea. Um, I'm going to do this one role that I use sometimes when I play drums. Um, it's like a, I don't know what to call it. Um, it's one, 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 and then I'm going to make these ones quad, I'm going to quadruple these guys. If that's the word. So I'm going to, okay, that's not going to work. So let's just select one of them. There we go. Split to two. Split to two. So sometimes these things have a mind of their own. All right. So now I'm gonna go. This is a roll that I also used in a previous song. So I got two snares here. Now the rolls I don't want to sound too strong, so I sort of keep them um, a bit, you know, the velocity a little bit down. I don't go like quite above like 60 or something. Um, da, 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 da. Now in my mind, I'm gonna go one, 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 one. So let's make like a harder snare here. One, um, one, one, more or less like this. Okay, so let's hear how this sounds. This is now, that doesn't sound good. That ending doesn't sound that nice. I think these velocities are just too loud. Sometimes that's the only problem. The problem is that they are overpowering. No, this doesn't sound good. Don't know why. I played this role. I think I'm trying to do it for too long. I must only do it for the last four. So let's take this away. And then let's listen to that. doesn't sound too bad so let's just leave it for that for now and then you export it again and save it at the same and you replace it so now now you will have sort of let's quickly listen to the whole thing now I'm just gonna put a little bit louder I don't know if you guys can hear Sort of so let's go over to the transition. All right, so they you sort of you, I hope you guys that's not you know it's not 100%. I think if I spend some more time and listen a bit more to the thing, um, it'll go better, but I didn't. Uh, I didn't have time this weekend to actually sit in detail and, and work something out, but I, I, I heard there's a few people who would like to know how to write these beats in the MIDI editing program. So I hope you guys can use some of this that I taught you guys. Um, well, this is how I do it. And uh, so far, if, if I just click on most of the songs that I wrote parts to, um, 
you know, let me take, you are good. So if I'll show you guys just, you know, it sounds more or less the same. So I, this is a standard crash sound that I just put, but I don't use the accent here at all. So here, if you listen to this one, it's one that goes louder and louder and louder. And um, I just went softer with the velocity, louder, 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 until I got to there. All right, so that's, that's how I wrote that one. This is one, um, that's one that I use a lot, and it's got the same intensity, so if I show you, you know, this is sort of how this beat looks, and then you will see right at the end, I copied this structure, um, so this is what this sounds like. Okay, that is the, the part for You Are Good for that intro. Anyway, so I copied that one and then I, where was I? Oh, and then I've got this one at the end. It's got sort of the same structure to it um, as an as a ending roll. All right. So guys, um, this is just sort of how I do it. So you just literally just right click and then you can say edit and then you just keep on saving it as a new file and then re-importing it on that name just so that you sort of don't over because a few times in the beginning I didn't import it again and then I edited it and then it edited everything that's got this name with the same name you know if you use it somewhere else so it, it replaced it so so yeah this is a triple crash transition that I also wrote now I use it on that side or I use it as a roll because the ending is pretty much the same so I think I'm not so sure if this is the same one Oh no, here it tells me the name. One bar, one bar, open Hyatt. Um, these are some of the ones. This is another one that I wrote, so let's quickly have a look at that one. It's pretty basic, just your floor tom and your snare. Um, and then. So you see, it's got sort of building, it sort of goes softer, louder, 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 and then it's got those four snares at the end. So. I hope this guy. I hope this helps you guys. Um, you know, let me know if there's something specifically you want to do. I haven't um, jumped into the very depth of creating my own drum kits and, you know, importing MIDI files and stuff like that. I actually just started playing around with with this little button, you know, and started to write my own fills. So, um, one of the custom fills that I wrote was uh, the one for for my estate. I listened to the original song and then I just had the exact, I pretty much wrote this, this one. Um, so if you listen here. And then that four bars that just ends in a crash and a kick, that sort of lets my song sort of come nicely down, you know. So so yeah, it's, it's exactly the ending of the, the previous, of the chorus that I'm playing. And then when I get to the end, I just hit my outro button and then it goes. You know, so it's quite nice. You know, if you, it's, it's very easy once you start playing around with, with all these sounds. Now, it does help if you are a drummer or you know a little bit of playing the beats, where to put what. And because I've been playing drums for about 20 years, you know, that is why it was, I think, a little bit easier for me to start off making my own beats. Um, but yeah, the way I learned drums and, you know, way I call 4-4, four, four, you know, 1-2-3-4, one, 1-2-3-4, two, one, two, I hear, well, what I've noticed recently is other people call it 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and if you talk about quarter notes. So I sort of had a bit of a different background. So to me, figuring out these um, these parts here, knowing what 4-4 four, four is according to, you know, musical terms and, you know, the rest of the world, I sort of had to, you know, learn the hard way, but you can just look at the top here. That is one bar, the top gray part, and then the next light gray part is the second bar. So there you'll see there's four bars, and within each four bars, there are four counts. So that will be one and two and three and four and. So that'll be in one bar, there will be two four fours. Um, that's one four count and another four count, you know. So you, yeah. But anyway, I hope you guys can can use what I've shown you in this video. Um, if you guys want anything else, or if there's anything else I can help you guys, please put it in the comments, please let me know. And um, yes, like I say, this is a, a little bit of a, a quick ex experiment for today, and I hope you guys can use it. Um, and uh, I will start uploading some more. I've recorded three songs yesterday, so hopefully they will also be uploaded in the next few days. 
But I'll see you guys then in the next video again. Have a good day. Cheers.